Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. I am Tech here, and right now I'm bringing you my very first iPhone application review. And right now I'm going to be reviewing my top four most underrated iPhone apps. So we're going to start with Fancy Pants, which I originally discovered in the Google Chrome um, website application store. And uh, I really liked it, I played it all the time, and I'm just really excited to bring it to iOS devices. So as you get started here, as you can see, um, you can go to your closet right away and it just gives you a variety of um, clothing unlockables that you can um, uh, customize your character with. You can uh, change the hairstyle as well as uh, the pants and um, you can change the weapon as well, which is pretty neat. Just kind of give you something, uh, replayability to go back and try to unlock all of those. So let's go ahead and get started with the... Uh, the, the kind of the mechanics of the game. We're going to go ahead and jump in to the training room. I can just kind of show you how the uh, animations are. It's very well um, scripted. Um, as you can see, it's very detailed, flows nicely. I really like the way the character moves. The controls are just a little difficult to get used to, but I feel as though once you get used to them, it's uh, fairly easy. So we're going to start out here. Um, a lot of times when you run past characters, they do talking. I've discovered that most of the time the talking's not very important, but uh, you can go ahead and uh, read as you like or however you want to do it. So, um, like I said, the controls are um, pretty simple. We have left, right, up, down. Um, using any combination of those, you can do wall jumps, slide into opt obstacles, take out enemies. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, this is a very, fairly similar to the um the one on uh, in Google Chrome. That's why I like it a lot. And um, one one minor thing I have to say about it is it is it is it's a little small. That's kind of a it's it might be a little difficult to play or to exactly time your movements and stuff like that. But this application is also available um on the iPad, so that might be more enjoyable for you iPad users out there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Let's go ahead and um, start with our next application called Zombie Highway. Zombie Highway is a free application in the application store. It's um, pretty cool. You can choose from a variety of different cars as well as a variety of different weapons. And um, Zombie Highway is a game based that uses the both the accelerometer and touchscreen uh, mechanics. So... As you can see, there are guns that you can unlock as well as that are um, combinations that are pre-installed. So once you get started, um, it starts off pretty slow. You have zombies standing on the side that will jump in your car. And the um, idea of the game is to knock all the zombies off and um, last as long as possible in the game without either crashing into um, flipped over cars or um, letting the zombies turn over your cars. Um, it, the game picks up after a while. As you can see, there are a variety of different kind of zombies. There are big, fat zombies that they don't really... Um, they just sit in your car and weigh you down. And then there are redder zombies that are harder to kill. And they regenerate energy after a time. As you can see, um, on the sides of the screen, is flashes red. And I can choose to shoot the zombies or I can continue to try to knock them off. The game is pretty fun overall. There are a lot of um, different kind of guns and stuff that you can un unlock as well as different levels. Um, I haven't really managed to get past maybe 8 or 10 miles on uh, my other devices. But uh, I really enjoy this game. It's free. And um, for those of you who might not um, just want to jump straight into the game and have the most powerful guns, you can also buy those in the App Store as well. But uh, once again, this is a free app called Zombie Highway in an application store. And as you can see, um, you can also change your weapon. You have three um, available weapons to equip in the main menu. And you can just apply them the further you go into the game. And as you can see, the further you go, you unlock stuff, new maps, new guns, different kind of cars, things like that really fun game so on to our next game which is going to be tilt to live which is one of my favorite iphone ipod applications it's going to be 2.99 in the app store let's go ahead and get started 
There are several different game modes from Classic, Code Red, The Gauntlet, Frostbite, and the newest edition, Viva La Turn, which is a paid extension onto the original application. So this game is an accelerometer based game, and as you can see, they give you a few different playing angles. And from my personal experience, the only one that ever really tends to work on a consistent basis is a regular. The other two don't quite work as well, and you kind of have to turn the device at an awkward angle. It doesn't work too well. So uh, we start out slow. There's a few dots, and they appear. more dots appear on the screen as time continues. But what I find more enjoyable is to go ahead and jump into Code Red, and it's just an automatic mayhem. You start out dots everywhere. They're moving super fast. It's really crazy and intense, and I find it uh, more enjoyable to just kind of pick up and play there rather than starting uh, out in Classic and it being real slow pace. But uh, for you first time users, beginners, um, Clax is kind of where you want to start to get used to the game before you know you'll be jumping into Code Red and playing it in no time. Uh, another one of the game I want to show you is uh, Frostbite. Frostbite's cool, it's a little different. Um, the dots pretty much start out frozen and uh, you're trying to break them all before they touch the bottom and uh, unthaw. And then once they unthaw, um, they come and chase you on the screen. They're really fast. It's really hard paced, and it's uh, one of the most one of the more difficult uh, game modes they have. <clears throat> so that's it for that application. One of the last applications I want to show you is uh, Battle Heart. Now, Battle Heart is seriously one of the most entertaining games I've had. As you can see, I have over nine hours invested in this one little game. It's so easy to pick up and just start. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you um the uh, armory and that's pretty much where um, I'm sorry the keep and that's pretty much where you can keep all your characters buy new ones sell and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the armory this time and armory is where um, you have all your characters battle armor you can um, put it on them upgrade it um, stuff like that they all have uh, different armors that's unique to them as well as some of the same so um, that's pretty cool and then uh, old armor you can uh, trade in, get more money for, and continue to upgrade. So let's go ahead and jump into um, a little of the battle so I can show you what it's like. There's a, there's a, there's, there's a good amount of levels on this game. Um, I've obviously put in nine hours and I still haven't beat it. That just kind of goes to show you how um, intense and how it can pick up. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these so I can kind of show you how it is. So you um, start off the match, and you have all your characters spaced out. And it's pretty much you touch a character, you drag them to where you want to be, and then as enemies appear on the stage, you also you drag um, your character to the enemy, and they'll automatically begin attacking. And um, each character has um, a set of special attacks that you can level up, as well as a different kind of combination in which you can set the attacks to be. And um, there, um, there's all different kind of monsters. Um, some... Um, specifically attack um, your characters with lower defense, but generally they um, higher attack with a higher defense. Just kind of strategize. It's not. It starts out a little easy, but sometimes you can see you're really far ahead and your character's really strong, but yeah, you still lose. <laughs> Another cool thing is they also have uh, various boss fights, which are pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie. On a few, on a few of them, I've had to go back and fight some of the weaker people just to make my character stronger just in um, order to beat them. But yep, that's Battle Heart. Please go and check this app out. But uh, yeah, that's all for today. Um, I just want to go ahead and thank everybody for just watching my first video. Please leave comments down in the bottom. Uh, let me know any tips you have, anything like that. Um, I'm open to most any op any other tips you guys have, any videos you want me to, other apps you want me to review. So um, just please leave comments down, rate, subscribe. Thank you.